guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Lucas Monster. Today we have a very quick Star Wars The Black Series news video to go over, because we got the official reveal for the Jedi Fallen Order 3-pack. Now this one was leaked quite a while ago, but we have the official release date, pre-order date, and official glam shots all out right now. So let's go ahead and talk about it. I gotta say, I'm really, really happy with how this set turned out. I know it does have a lot of reuse and re-releases, but I'm really happy with how it looks. Now, this did confirm getting high-definition photos. It did confirm uh, some stuff that we thought. For example, the Purge Trooper is on that original 2013 clone body, so uh, that's not great. But it does bring uniformity to all the Purge Troopers, because all of those Purge Troopers are on that body. So, at least it has some uniformity, but it still really, really sucks because of how crappy that articulation is. But man, just look at that Electro Staff. It looks so, so good. That, that The Electro Hammer is what it's called. And it just looks incredible, especially with that white pauldron. I love the white pauldron look of this guy. This guy looks incredible. Now, obviously, articulation is going to suck, but I'm really glad we're getting more Purge Troopers like this. I believe there's only one or two more that we still need, and hopefully the Black Series decides to actually go ahead and put those out at some point, too. Now, this also does confirm that the second sister has the soft goods cape, one that I'm really, really excited to see uh, before that really big hard plastic cape. It really weighed her down and made her, like, back heavy, so she would keep falling over. So I'm hoping that fixes the balance problem with the figure, and plus, I think it'll just stay on and look a lot better overall. So really, really happy with this soft goods cape. Um, the mold itself is exactly the same as the other one. It does have pinned knees. I believe it does. It has single-jointed arms, but it does have the pinned knees, which aren't the the best but I still think the mold is rather good it came out in 2019 so it's not necessarily a bad mold but uh, yeah I'm interested to see how this figure is with that soft goods cape but it is looking really really good so happy to be getting this one again in the line and it does look like her lightsaber has been updated with some thicker blades. The original one had some pretty thin blades, so that is a really good update. I don't know if the hilt is going to be a new mold, but the blades are definitely new for this figure. And then, of course, we do have Inquisitor Cal. Now, some people were upset because it does look like he reuses the Grand Inquisitor legs. I think that's perfectly fine. It's, it's accurate enough, and uh, it gets the job done, and it looks great doing it. So, really happy with this. Brand new torso and arms, though, which look incredible. Really happy with how this torso and arms came out on Cal Kestis. Really happy to have another variant of Cal, to be honest. So, really, really loving this figure. Probably one of my favorites of the three. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's one one of those variants that I think I've been asking for for a long time. So it's cool to see us get a little bit more obscure uh, figure like that. Now this set will be available for pre-order tomorrow, which is March 14th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Now this is a Amazon exclusive, so you can only get it on Amazon and it will retail for $74.99. That is a pretty great price, to be honest. I was expecting them to, to kick up the price since it's a three-pack, but no, it will be $25 per figure, which is retail. So really happy with the price on this one. I they, I think they could have raised it, and people still would have bought it, but I'm really happy they kept it at that retail price. So that worked out pretty well. Make sure to go check out Amazon. I'll post all the links for it as soon as I get them. Um, but yeah, really happy about this one. If you do want to pre-order, check out Amazon tomorrow, 1 p.m. Eastern. But that is going to do it for this video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.